guys so autumn is finally here in Norway so I was thinking to um, make a very classic uh, reindeer, reindeer meat stew so today I will be it will be different I will be cooking um, a stew which is called fin beef um, it means reindeer reindeer meat and this is a very classic uh, Norwegian beef stew, uh, reindeer reindeer meat stew um, that we normally eat here in Norway and that's what I will be showing you in this video okay so first things first um, what you need is a reindeer meat something like this so so you need a reindeer meat which is about 400 to 500 grams uh, you need a butter you need a it should be sour cream um, but I, I've got a creme fresh um, but you can also uh, use a sour cream you need water you need a mushroom uh, you need berries you need a goat's cheese um, milk and a bacon and also if you have a dried thyme which um, I actually forgot to get but um, that will be very nice as well and it will smell and taste delicious okay here in Norway this is very common so you can just get this everywhere um, and I believe in any Scandinavian countries or any um, cold countries here in Europe uh, Canada I think you can easily get uh, a meat or a reindeer meat or just a deer a deer meat I think that, that would be nice as well so I've got these um, everywhere in the shelves here in Norway so we can try and open this one now let me just get a scissor so it will look like basically if you get a, um, a reindeer meat or a deer um, you can actually get it in cubes like this one it's already been chopped like that so let me just show you so it's already been chopped and but you can also get like a really big ones wherein you will have to cut it yourself um, but I prefer this one because it's already been cut and if you're on hurry then it's very easy to cook okay so it's heating now the pan and um, now we will go in to cut the mushrooms and the bacon into small cubes um, okay right, so by the way guys I'm not really um, used into making Scandinavian food um, because in Britain, England, uh, what we normally eat there um, during autumn or winter time are like um, what you call a pumpkin soup, something like that, very autumny, very wintry. Um, also like uh, broccoli soup, I like that as well. Um, so yeah, a couple of these and then a bacon. So I've got like a strip of bacon like this. And look how big they are. So I think I'm gonna get like um, at least three or four. And I think that should be fine. Oopsie, okay. I think that's four already there. So put the bacon away. Right, cut them in cubes, same as the mushroom. This chopping board, I absolutely love it. I got this in the Philippines um, for 500 pesos. <laughs> I think this is uh, iron, it's an iron wood. It's very hard, it's very heavy. Okay. So there you have cubes of mushroom and bacon. So we need to fry that into uh, using a butter instead of an oil. So we will use a butter in a frying pan. So while it's heating, I'm gonna get, um, I would say about two tablespoons of butter. But normally in the kitchen, I don't really do measuring very much. I'll just go with the flow like feel just feel it <laughs> and see if it's enough and if it's not enough okay um 
butter I think is better than a margarine or an oil I think you should always use a butter so I'll put I'll put that in there okay and that should melt now so let's up the heat and up to six okay so that's melted now and we can put um, all of these in the pan until it gets brown a bit so just keep like stirring it until it gets uh, until it gets brown you can always uh, add more water if needed okay so that's looking good now a little bit of brown color in it so we're gonna have to remove these uh, put it in a bowl and then we'll put another butter in the pan. Okay, so that's everything. I uh, put it in the bowl and then we'll put another butter so we can put the raisin meat in. Okay, so now we're gonna put uh, or get another butter, put it in a pan so we can put the reindeer meat back in the pan. Their butter here in Norway is actually very tasty. I like them. I like this brand and I like the Lur Pack as well, which um, we normally get in the UK. But I've seen Lur Pack as a brand in the Philippines as well. So we'll put all this butter back into the pan so we can put the, um, the reindeer meat. So we're going to have to fry this one. Um, this is, um, how many grams is this one? Um, 500 grams, I think. Yeah, 500 grams. Yeah, that's right. So I am going to cook all of these, um, but normally you don't need about this many. Um, about 400 grams is fine, but I'll cook them all. Now it's frying, so I'll just put everything in there. Okay, so the butter is now melting again. Okay, so that's ready to put the meats in. So you can just put all of the reindeer meat in, fry it. They are still a little bit frozen, but it'll be fine. Okay. And then let's just lower down the heat for a bit. Yeah, five should be fine. And then we'll put we'll put a cover in. Um, to just let it simmer. Okay, so let's just put this cover in. Let it simmer for a bit. Absolutely love this pot. This is very heavy, cast iron. Okay, let's have a look and see what's happening. Okay, so it's still simmering. Okay, we'll put some more butter. the lid on let it simmer for a couple of minutes until it's get a brown color okay so that is so that is getting brown really nicely okay and then what we need to do is to put water Okay, while waiting for that to simmer, um, we're gonna prepare the goat's cheese and the berries. So this is the goat cheese, I've just opened it. Here, so it looks like this in a big cube. Um, mm. Mm. I really like cheese. This will be very good with crackers. I would say about two of two slices. I think that should be fine. Um, so goat's cheese and berries. Um, this is really really small berries, and it's from Amsterdam. 
comes from uh, the Netherlands. Okay, so you only need about five pieces of berries really. But since these ones are really small, so good. Very Christmassy looking. I would say I will get like about two, two of these. And what you need to do is you will have to crush them. I feel like I can make this as an earring. How oh, cute. Crush all these berries like that. Okay. Um, and I'm, I think I'm gonna get some more of these actually. Oh, they look so Christmassy. Um, as soon as that's okay in the pot, when that simmers, we'll put the um, sour cream, uh, the goat's cheese, and the berries. Okay, so let's have a quick look. Okay. So that's simmering beautifully. We'll put the, we'll put the goat's cheese first. the berries okay so we'll put everything in Do you know what guys I don't mind being messy in the kitchen I actually like being messy in the kitchen I think you should just have fun while you're cooking okay so let's open these um, crayfish and hopefully this will do the job. See, it's a little bit thick because it's a cream fresh. It's a little bit thick. Um, yeah. It's so delicious. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of this one because um, it's not really what I wanna put in there, but I think it will work. And then I'll put a small bit of milk as well. Um, and I think that will solve the problem. So, right, let me just wash my hands again. Okay, so we'll put this uh, cream fresh now. Okay, and then, and then we'll put the milk, a small bit of the milk. So we'll put a small bit of the milk. Okay, so whilst that's simmering, um, we'll just do a little bit of cleanup and then what we need to do is um, just put salt and pepper in it to taste and then put the um, the bacon and the mushroom that we made earlier and then that should be good to go and um, but we'll see we're gonna taste it first but let me just clean all this up and then we'll put the salt and pepper salt and pepper Well, I'm, I've got a dry thyme, which is perfect. Okay, I need a thyme. I thought we don't have anything here in the cupboard um, and I couldn't find one in the grocery as well. So I'm gonna put this thyme on top um, while everything is cooked, so we need that one. Okay, so I've got the bowl here now. I'm just have gonna pour this in because this one is ready. It's finished. Christmas actually okay so it already smells very delicious so you've got a reindeer here mushroom uh, bacon you've got goat's cheese you've got milk water thyme salt and pepper to taste um, what else butter obviously there it is all of this in and this is absolutely perfect for uh, autumn it's an autumn food autumn or winter anything with a soup or stew um, especially in a cold country it's perfect for um, keeping yourself warm there you go. Okay, so right there it is. Actually, this looks like it's good for like I don't know four people, and um, and you can always serve it with um, I would say like a vegetable or a mashed potato 
or a bread, um, maybe like a French bread or something. But let's just have a quick taste um, on this one. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes so good. I can really taste a bit of a sweet and bitterness and creaminess. Um, I think the goat's cheese um, is very, uh, what you call that, it's very strong. Because I, I think I did put like two, didn't I? Two slices. And I think that that, that is very, very strong. Mm. It's actually, it's like, it's like a broccoli soup. Um, back in the UK when we, uh, yeah, it's like, it's like a broccoli soup. Um, but this one tastes absolutely delicious. So there you go. I hope you like this um, recipe. Um, it's just a reindeer stew or reindeer, um, reindeer meat stew. Good for winter, autumn um, or fall as they call it in Canada or in the US. Um, so yeah, I'll put the recipe and how uh, you cooked it on my description down below. So if you want to follow that one, um, have a go because it's it's different it's absolutely delicious as well and it's a uh, it's very um, it's like something that you that you ordered in a restaurant <laughs> I feel like I am an expert now okay so I do hope you like this video it's a little bit different it's my first time doing a uh, um, cooking vlog in my channel so yeah um, hope you like this and I will see you on my next video bye guys